I'm Nick and welcome back to Tales of Sphonia. Last time we went through a forest, it was kind of dark and such. But now we've arrived at Mizuho, so let's go. Sheena, what is the meaning of this? How could you bring outsiders into the village? I am prepared to accept my punishment. Inform the Vice Chief. I've brought the Travelers from Silverant. From Silverant? You are from the dying world of Silverant? Well, except for me. I see. Sheena, come with me. The rest of you, wait in front of the Chief's house. He's awake. Wh where am I? You're our prisoner. And don't try anything funny. I like to think that I'm smart enough not to start trouble when I don't understand the situation. And yet I'm just allowed to run free. I do not know Jizu. Also, can I be an asshole? <laughs> oh, what the heck are those? Oh. Probably like a feel. Oh, no, I can use that. Weird. I see, I see, I see. Just get all the things. Just get all the things by being smarmy. <laughs> ah, give me your stuff. <laughs> and of course, cats. Well, let's not forget dogs! This one feels like Tiggy. He's so cute. A variety shop. Custom shop. I don't have any metal spheres. That would have been nice. I don't have any of that other material, which sucks. Oh, boy. I guess I'll just have to do some normal shopping then. Okay, at least you do offer a weapon. I'll take that. I'll take that. Oh, she's not in the party right now. Right. I don't think we need accuracy. I guess that's mainly what I'm here for. Aside from, you know, the usual gel restocking. I think I'm actually doing okay on that. Interesting. So let's just buy these. Oh, that's right, we can equip from here. Oh, I've been needing a damage boost. You need a damage boost. Hmm. I don't think there's much else I can do from here. I'm gonna recheck that customization shop one last time. Yeah, I don't have all the necessary materials. For... Also, I think I just bought that. So I think I'm okay. I just don't have all the other materials for... Wait, there's two different ways to customize that. That's interesting. I could make that though. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea. I don't want to waste my magic cloths though. Is there much anything else to do other than well, well, well? What's this then? 
probably just best to go wait in front of the chief's house if everybody can move out of the way. I wasn't expecting that, honestly. Travelers from Silveron, you may enter. Thank you. Our leader, Chief Igaguri, is ill. I, the Vice Chief, Taiga, shall speak on his behalf. Because Sheena failed to kill you, we, the people of Mizuho, now face persecution from the Tetheala royal family and the Church of Martel. Is that true? Yes, at least from what I've heard. Now I have a question. People of Silveron, what do you plan to do in Tetheala, the land of your enemies? I've been thinking about that for a long time. Someone asked me why I came all the way to Tetheala, what it is that I want to do. I want a world where everyone can have a normal life. I'm tired of people having to become sacrifices. I'm tired of discrimination. I'm tired of people becoming victims. I'm tired of it all. You are an idealist. The worlds of Tetheala and Silveron flourish only by victimizing the other. So long as that structure remains the same, anything you say is mere sophistry. Then we need to change that structure. This world was made by that Yggdrasil guy, right? If a human or elf built this, then we should be able to change it as well. <laughs> you speak like the hero, Mythos. He was a sublime idealist. He ended the ancient war by insisting there was a way for the two warring countries to coexist in peace. Are you saying you can become the next Mythos? I'm not Mythos. I want to save the two worlds my way with the help of my friends. I see. In other words, you aren't worried about following past methods. Well then, we shall search for a new path as well. Vice Chief, do you mean... Yes, we will use our information network to aid you. In return, when the path of prosperity for both worlds has been found, we wish to move our people to Silveron. But I don't have any right to decide something like that. All we need is for you to aid us in our move. Is everyone okay with us joining forces with the people of Mizuho? If it will change the relationship of the two worlds. Well, it doesn't sound like a bad deal. Let's hurry up and decide so we can go rescue Persea. As long as Tetheala is safe, I don't care what you guys do. Okay then, it's settled. We're going to look for a way to change the two worlds. Let's work together. Agreed. Then I hereby order Sheena to continue to accompany you. This time, however, not just as an observer, but as a representative. Make us proud. Yes, sir. But Taiga, you sure you want to turn the royals and the church against you like that? How about if I ask you? Given a choice between the forces which wish to sacrifice one of the worlds, and the force that wishes to preserve both worlds, which would you side with? I'd like to say the one that's likely to win, but I suppose I'd want to help the side that wants to preserve both worlds. Exactly. Now the first thing we shall do is devote all our resources to locating the Riards. Fortunately, it appears that Sheena attached a guardian to the Riards, so we should be able to locate them shortly. Understood. Thank you for your help. Is he for real? What's your name? Regal. Regal, huh? I'm sorry, but we're gonna have to keep you prisoner for a bit longer. Floyd, how about letting Pops here fight too? Even though he might betray us? He has business with Persea, right? And he's not gonna try anything before he gets a chance to speak with her, you know? Actually, that's not a bad idea. Rain? I don't know about this, but I won't make a fuss. I also started off as your enemy. Well, will you fight alongside us for now? All right. I swear upon my good name and these shackles that bind me, I shall not betray you. 
If you do anything, even the slightest bit suspicious, I'll burn you to a crisp. Got it? Well then, welcome to our group, Regal. <clears throat> full party, full party. How wonderful. I was going to exchange Colette with the newbie here. You could say he could he really kicks. He doesn't have much in the way of equipment, so let's quickly fix that. At least temporarily. I was just thinking, uh so you can <laughs> If I wanted hit points, that would be neat. Hey, wait a minute! Oh wait, that reduces uh, physical damage you take but increases elemental damage you take. That's right. I don't need to fuss with this right now. It seems pursuers have left the forest. You should hurry. All right, let's head for Altessa's place right away. I want to go home to my village. All right, Ozette first then. Yes, Prisea's parents are probably worried about her. We should head to Ozette. Well, I certainly won't object. We just need to go back to the... I ran into, into an encounter. Wonderful. Oh, I have electrical swords! Ooh! Ow! Redemption still eludes me. Eh, he'll find it someday. Now let's take that other path I didn't take earlier. That was easy. Now, before I move onward, can I do anything over here, or am I just stuck? I think I might just be stuck. That was probably another way out of the Gauracha forest. I ran into no encounter. Let's go all out. Ow. <laughs> what took you to care of you fine? Goodbye, Yes, keep giving me trade. Is this Ozette? This is Ozette. Okay. Yeah. Zoned out there, Lloyd? Oh, great. I have a water poster here, too. How about... No, you screw off. But first... Dog! This one feels like a Kelsey. Her tail is so cute. Actually, schmoozing time! <laughs> Give me your items. Also, is this an inn? This is an inn. <laughs> Give me your stuff! Wait, that's a parrot. Well, I'll take my recovery first. Examine the parrot! Scrat! All right, what do I get? Tenderloin. <laughs> and you're off. What else is new? I mean, we might as well tap the circle, right? I might as well.
Give me that bottle and Mizuho. I hope they can find the Rayards. Mizuho's intelligence network is nothing to sneeze at. They'll find them for sure. Yeah, I've heard some incredible stuff about the Mizuho intelligence network. Supposedly, they know the location of all the treasures in Tetheala. You bet. When we really want to, there's nothing we can't find out. Sounds like a great thing to have on our side. <sighs> I wonder if they could research the measurements of all the girls in Tetheala for me. You stupid chosen! Get slapped, idiot. Thank you. Hmm? Are these guests as well? Porters. Oh, I see. For Seiya, we have to make a key crest for you. My job awaits. Goodbye. Only Prisea can retrieve the sacred wood used in the ritual at the church. I am quite pleased that she has finally returned. <laughs> that man, he's a half-elf. He is? Now that you mention it, didn't we see him in Meltokyo too? He's creepy. I agree, but uh, I gotta say that I feel sorry for the guy. He has to deal with the fact that there are magnificent specimens of males around like me. <laughs> I'd say you two are on the same level. I heard that, you little twerp. At any rate, we should have a talk with Prisea. Yeah. Smell. Look. Oh my. How horrible. What the? This is not cool. How could this happen? Most likely the effect of x -fierce parasitism. Prisea has no idea what's become of the person in that bed. How could that... Prisea, are you not coming with us? I must do my job. Let's leave Prisea here for now. Here? If we try to move her, she will just fight back. Let's go see Altessa by ourselves to ask him about repairing the key crest. Yeah. That weird guest of Perseus, he was in Meltelkio too, wasn't he? Yeah, I have a bad feeling about this. I can sense the smell of blood on him. Let's hurry to Altessa's place. It's dangerous to leave Perseus with that man. Saw things smells like a corpse. If I uh, had to sense anything about that situation. I guess that's where I came up from. Colette, are you alright? Uh, yeah, I stumbled. <laughs> I'm clumsy. Are you hurt? No, I'm fine. I'm fine. You don't seem fine to me. But I assume that's just the way I need to go. But the way I want to go is I haven't sussed everything out yet. So... What, am I not allowed to leave if I'm running right through the door? Armor shop, armor shop, buy whatever I... Oh, you also offer customization. Not anything different from before, at the very least. Still don't have all the necessary materials, so let's just shop.
I think that's for the most part those taken care of. Yeah, I think I'll just. Oh, wow, that's almost all my money. Screw it. Let's just get everyone re equipped. We need that. We already have that. Get this. You get that. You get this. You already have that. You get a pretty ribbon. that yeah I think I'll have to just do that for now I think that was everything for now so let's just leave say Regal why do you keep those handcuffs on these are the symbols of my crime. A crime symbolized by handcuffs? I know, you're a handcuff thief! Oh, that's not it. Hmm. Then you ran around causing trouble by putting handcuffs on people? I'm sorry. I suppose I should have said it in a way that was easier to understand. Ha <laughs> Lord, you're an idiot. You're all with her, aren't you? Her? Prisea, you were with that monster. Don't call Prisea a monster! What? She hasn't aged a day for the longest time. What are you talking about? That's not all. Even though her father is dead, she won't even make him a grave. She's a monster. Half-elves are nothing compared to her. Will you guys get take that monster and get out of this village? I'll thank you for it. You won't regret it. How can you say that? Oh, so you're saying that a child that never grows up isn't weird? Well, I... But there's a reason why Prisea is like that. Hmm. I don't know what it is, but it doesn't change how freaky she is. I doubt you outsiders would understand. Outsiders. It's true that we didn't watch Prisea stay young while everyone else grew old. That's not Prisea's fault! It's the same reason half-elves are persecuted. Yes, if half-elves could live apart from humans like the elves, things might be different. But half-elves have no choice but to live in human villages. And humans experience the difference in the passage of time, and are constantly reminded of the fact that they are different species. Let's save Prisea. Nothing good can come out of it if she stays this way. There was another dog! Aww. This one is Sammy! Sammy! Here, boy! Eh. Might as well see if there's anybody I could schmooze over here. Nope, it's just an item shop. That sells food materials. Interesting. Unfortunately, I spent most all my gold on my defensive equipment, so... We should probably just leave at this point. If I were a betting man, I had to say that those were points towards, uh... Prisea's affection, I think. Because that's a thing in this game. Well, that's convenient! It's literally right here. Well, knock, knock. Who is it? Uh, excuse us. We've heard that there's a dwarf living here. Is there any chance we could see him? You desire a meeting with Master Altessa. Please, come inside. My 
My name is Lloyd. We've come in regards to Persea. We heard about you from Kate and Cybac. Please. What? I don't want anything more to do with that girl. Get out of here. What was that all about? I apologize. The Master does not want to get involved with Prasea. Why? He doesn't care if she dies? It is not that. It is because the Master regrets what he has done. Then please, save Prasea. All she needs is for her key crack to be fixed. I do not know if that would truly be in her best interest. Why? How could anything be worse than living in that cruel condition while waiting to die? If you are that committed, then you should search for inhibitor ore. Persea's key crest isn't made out of inhibitor ore? Correct. Her crest is... Amada, what are you doing? Get rid of them. I apologize. I must return. Please come back again. I will attempt to persuade him. Where can we find the inhibitor ore? I've heard it's mined in the mountain range that extends between Altamira and the Ymir forest. I would like to help if you're going to create a key crest for Persea. I can lead you to the mine. Just what is your relation to Persea anyway? There is none. Yet you sure seem concerned about her. Well, either way, if you haven't done anything suspicious so far, you're welcome to come along with us. Inhibitor ore is found relatively near the surface of the X-Sphere mine. The mine I know of is across the sea from here, on the southern continent. You said Altamira, right? That place is awesome! Let's stop by there on the way! We don't have time to hang out at that gaudy resort. The sea? We're going out to sea again? Okay then, let's go! Yeah, let's hurry. By the way, this has been bugging me for a while now. Haven't we met somewhere before? Fine, ignore me. Not very friendly, are you? Yeah, let's forget the sewers ever happened. But I think that's probably enough for one episode. So, on today's episode of Tales of Symphonia. We managed to uh, get on the good side of Mizuho, and we also dropped Persea off back at her village, and we kind of need to fix her key crest. So we're going to go get some inhibitor ore, inhibitor ore on the southern continent. So with that, I'm Nick, and I'll see you guys next time.